Hi, today is Sunday, December 5th, and I am very excited to be doing a video today because it's been about a month since my last video. November just totally got away from me with work and a lot of family stuff going on. So I'm very happy to be able to sit down today and film this video because I have a little haul. This is actually a couple orders combined together that I'm very excited to unbox and share with you. So I am just going to dive in. I do have the whiff box for December, so I'll save that for the very end. All right, so Sensi has been doing so many limited time offerings and lots of 48 hour sales lately. It's been kind of hard for me to keep up, a little overwhelming with everything that they've been offering, but I did have to pick up some of the most recently released items and they are the Dancing Sugar Plums collection in the body care. I really, really love Dancing Sugar Plums. So I was so excited to see it come out in the Scentsy Soak. I think this packaging is just adorable. I love the Nutcracker and the Ballerina. So, so cute. So I'm very excited to have that. And then I did have to get the Dancing Sugar Plums body wash and the hand cream. So I think I'm really going to like this. I'm going to open up the hand cream and give it a sniff. All right. Oh, this smells so good. So it's a really kind of light, understated scent. It's not overwhelming at all. I do get that nice kind of sweet, rich, warm plum and just a little hint of some kind of spiciness. It's not an overwhelming cinnamon, but it's just enough to make it feel very wintry and warm and cozy. I really like this. I think it'll be really nice for the rest of the winter. So I am very excited to have this hand cream and then I am definitely going to open up this body wash right away and use it. I'm so excited. I think this will be really, really good. And the other thing that I had to pick up from that little release was the Scentsy Fresh in Snow Kissed Cranberry. I love the fragrance Snow Kissed Cranberry. It's a very kind of sweet, perfumey body care cranberry. I really like it in my bedroom. I find that it's not the strongest performing wax. So I thought that this would be perfect to use as kind of a booster when I'm warming that scent in my bedroom, but also anytime I think during the Christmas season and in the winter, just to kind of freshen up our bedroom, I think that this will be absolutely perfect. So I am going to open this because I really want to smell it. All right. Ooh, this does smell really good. It is very sweet and fruity very kind of juicy, but it does have kind of a musky perfumey twist. It is definitely a lighter perfumey scent rather than a really heavy perfumey scent. It's really, really nice. And I actually really liked this when it was in the body care line. So I think this will be perfect in Scentsy Fresh. I am going to love using this in our bedroom. All right, and I did pick up two warmers with this order. One of them I have been eyeing ever since it was released with the holiday collection. And I just decided to go ahead and get it before it sells out. And it is the Pine for Plaid Mini Warmer. So I actually saw this in a YouTube video and I, decided I just had to have it. So I am going to open this up right now and then we'll plug it in and show how it looks lit up a little bit later. Oh, this is so pretty. So it's just kind of a frosted glass, but it looks like it might be um, kind of a speckled glass. Yeah, so I, it's probably hard to see there, but it is kind of a speckled glass. I think it will kind of look like mercury glass when it's lit up. And then I just really love that kind of trendy plaid, not quite buffalo check, but just a really kind of classic plaid tree design there. I thought this was just so classic and pretty and kind of timeless. So I am really, really pleased with this. I think this will be really pretty anywhere. Um, the YouTube video I saw, she had this in her kitchen and it looked so cute, but I think I am going to use this in our bathroom. All right. And this next warmer was first released in region three, I think. And I was so jealous because I think it is so cute. So when I saw that it was being released 
in Region 1. I had to jump on it, and it is the Candy Christmas Warmer, the Gingerbread House Warmer. So I cannot wait to see this. It is in a big, huge box. I think it's really tall. I think it's about 11 inches tall. So I am going to go ahead and unbox this. I cannot wait to see it. All right, there is a little peek at the roof, and it is already so cute. So let's get this out. So it comes kind of wrapped up like this and I have to say this is even cuter in person. I love the little details on it so let's go ahead and get this unwrapped. So it is painted metal with a lot of added glitter and I don't know if you can appreciate how much glitter is on this but in person it is stunning. All right so this is a 25 watt bulb so we've got the bulb screwed in there and I am getting glitter everywhere but it is totally worth it because this warmer is so cute. We've got a nice glass square dish and this recommends four cubes so we'll set that right there and then we'll put the roof on and I think that they're the same on both sides so I don't think it matters what way you put it on but this is so adorable so it is quite tall and it is just stunning. So here on the front door, we have a couple little gingerbread people. I love the little bottle brush wreath. And then the detail on this warmer is so cute. So we've got these little candy cane columns. I love the base that has the icing with the red and green sprinkles. And then we've got some little bushes on the sides here. This is just so cute. I love the shingles with the icing. I think this is just so kind of classic and cute. I think this would be adorable in a kitchen at Christmas time. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this one. I have a few ideas and I will definitely share that in my Christmas warmer tour. So stay tuned for that. But I am so pleased with this warmer. I think it is just adorable. I love it. All right, now that I am thoroughly covered in glitter, I did have a few other things that I wanted to unbox and include in this video. I did pick up the December warmer of the month, so I think that is such a pretty warmer and I can't wait to get it out and see what it looks like all lit up. All right, so the December warmer of the month is called Nature's Wonders. And when I saw this picture, I knew that this would be a perfect warmer for the entire winter. I think I will definitely display it at Christmas time, but I am going to leave it up at least through January because I think it is so pretty. So let's unbox this. So it comes with a nice glass saucer dish and then it's packaged really well here. So it has this kind of outer silhouette and then everything else is inside here. So I thought this was just so unique and beautiful. So we've got the light bulb down in here and it looks like there's a couple little silica packets. So we'll take those out. So this is what the base of the warmer looks like. Really, really pretty. All right, and then we've got our 25 watt bulb. I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. And there is also this cardboard ring at the bottom here that I almost missed. So let me get that out of there. All right, I had to cut mine to get it out without bending all of the metal, but I'm glad I saw that because it does kind of blend in. So that's out of there now. Here is our glass sleeve and it's very nicely packaged in some cardboard to keep it safe. So there is a sticker that says this side up and I can't really tell a big difference, but that's how we will put this in the base of the warmer. And then the glass shade will just sit right down between those layers. And oh my gosh, that is just stunning. I cannot wait to see what this looks like lit up. I think it's gonna be so, so pretty. And then the dish just sits right on top. So I will show you what this one looks like lit up 
at the end of the video. All right, and next, Scentsy is running a diffuser promotion right now, and I've actually had my eye on one of the deluxe diffusers ever since they were released, so I just decided to jump on this opportunity and pick one up. So I did pick up the Fleur Gray Deluxe Diffuser, and with the deluxe diffusers, you actually get to pick one free oil, and so I picked white lavender mint. I've heard really good things about this. I think it was out of stock for a while if I'm not mistaken so I think it must be pretty popular and I'm excited to smell it. This sounds like something that would be really nice at bedtime and that's when I use my diffuser. So I do have one of the premium diffusers in my bedroom and I kind of use it like a humidifier at nighttime so I thought that getting the deluxe diffuser which has a bigger reservoir would be really nice for the winter. So let's go ahead and smell white lavender mint. Okay, this is very herbal. I pick up a lot of kind of a very herbal lavender. It smells kind of soapy. You know, right now I'm not getting a ton of the mint, but this does feel very kind of cool and fresh, very refreshing. I think this one will be really nice diffused. Just kind of a nice, unassuming herbal lavender. I really like it. Now that I'm smelling it a little bit more, I think I am picking up a little bit more of that kind of cool burst of refreshing mint. That's a really nice combination, very, very herbal, and I think I will really like that in my bedroom. All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, so we've got our little plug, and then here is the diffuser. All right, here it is. So this is a really nice kind of durable, hard plastic, and this top part, the shade, has a really kind of subtle little flower imprint on it. So I think that just adds a little bit of texture and interest. I think it'll be really pretty when it's lit up. And then the base has the reservoir. And this reservoir is huge compared to the reservoir on the premium diffuser. So I think I will really like using this since I use my diffuser as kind of like a humidifier. I think this will be perfect for the dry winter months. And you can adjust the mist setting as well as the light setting. So I think I'm gonna have fun kind of playing around with that. And I am going to put that in my bedroom. All right, and last but certainly not least for this little haul is the Whiff Box for December. And I have tried my hardest to stay away from spoilers. I did come across a couple in my social media feed, so I tried to hurry and click out of them as fast as I could. I caught a little glimpse of a couple things that might be in here, but for the most part, I'm still pretty unaware. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so right on top, there is a pamphlet, and they don't always come with a pamphlet kind of explaining the theme of the box, so I'm really excited when they do, and this one is really, really pretty. It says, gather round the tree, and has this beautiful ornament illustration. On the back here, it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. As we get ready to gather around the tree, your December whiff box is full of a variety of pine fragrances to celebrate the season. And our gift to you is an exclusive Scentsy bar in a new fragrance not available elsewhere, Maraschino Sugar Cookie, which is described as sugar cookie dough, baked with vanilla and drizzled in a sweet maraschino cherry glaze. Happy holidays. So that unfortunately is one of the little things that I did see a little spoiler about. So I knew that there would be an exclusive bar in this box. And I am so excited about that. I wish that they would do more exclusive things in the whiff box that you can't get anywhere else. I just think it's a really good incentive to pick up the box. So I'm not always a huge fan of bakery scents, but I really do like 
some cherry scents. So I'm hoping that that maraschino cherry note really comes out. And if it does, I think I am really going to like this. So let's see what's on the inside here. We have some 3D ornaments and that's nice because Scentsy did come out with some 3D scent circles with the holiday collection. So yay, I'm so, so excited about this. All right, so we do have some bubbles here. And then let's go ahead and start with these bars. We have a bar of Best in Snow. And I think this was a new release last year, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very, very kind of fresh, outdoorsy air type scent. I do get a little bit of pine from this. I get a little bit of mint. It is kind of like a burst of fresh, clean outdoor air. And I actually really like this one. Um, I was a little on the fence about it last year, but it has kind of grown on me and it is just kind of fresh and clean. You get a little hint of that kind of ozone note. So really, really nice for the winter. So I am not upset about having a bar of that. All right, and we do have a bar of the scent of the month, Black Forest Pine. Lately, the whiff boxes have not been coming with a bar of the scent of the month. And I wonder if it's just kind of a supply and demand thing. So I am happy to see a bar of the scent of the month included here. I actually really like this scent. To me, it's kind of a mix of iced pine and stargazing. So you do get that kind of fresh, almost like minty, astringent type pine. But there is a really nice kind of sweet, musky softness to this. And it does kind of remind me of stargazing. So I think if you mixed those two scents, you would kind of come up with a bar like this. This was a really good performer for me when I warmed the little tester in my office warmer upstairs and I actually really, really enjoyed it. So I am happy to have another bar of that. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. So uh, let's see, we do have a Mighty Pine 3D scent circle. So I think I'm actually going to put this on our Christmas tree to give it a little burst of pine scent. So I'm excited to have that. And I'm so excited because we have the Scentsy Bitty Buddy in the Reindeer, and this is scented in Silver Bells. So I think that there was kind of a mix up or they didn't have the stock for the November Whiff Box, which I think they were originally going to include this little Bitty Buddy in the November Whiff Box. I'm happy to see it in this month's box. And I just think he is so cute. So last December with Box, they did the little gnome bitty buddy. So I'm glad that my little gnome has a friend. Oh, and he's so cute. <laughs> so he has this nice little red nose. Love his little antlers. And he smells really good. I don't know if I would recognize this scent as Silver Bells. It's actually coming across a little more minty to me in the Bitty Buddy than in the bar. But it smells really, really good. It's kind of like a sweet minty perfume. I really like it. So, oh, he's so cute. I'm so happy to have him. All right, so we're getting to some exciting stuff. So here is the exclusive bar maraschino sugar cookie and the packaging is just adorable. I really hope I like this. I really love cherry almond pie. I love that kind of almond extract cherry scent. So I'm hoping that I get something similar from this. Oh yes. Yes. So this does have, oh, I really like this. This does have a very tart cherry scent. To me, I'm getting just a little tiny hint of that kind of almond extract note that you get with cherry almond pie. But I do pick up a little bit more of that kind of bakery note from the sugar cookie. To me, I feel like cherry almond pie is almost just like straight cherry almond extract. I don't get a ton of like a crust or a dough note from that one. This one I do pick up just a little, but it's not too much for me. 
I think I'm really gonna like this. This also kind of reminds me of the, I think it was like Cozy Cranberry. It was from the Cozy Collection, the kind of fruity scent. This kind of reminds me of that, but I like this one a lot better. Yay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think this will be perfect to warm in the Candy Christmas Warmer. Oh, I think they're gonna go perfectly together. So I'm really excited. And I don't know if you can add this bar to your Scentsy Club. I kind of remember reading somewhere that you can't, that you can only get it in the Whiff Box. So I'll have to check on that, but I actually like it, I really do. It doesn't smell like cough syrup to me. I know cherry scents can kind of come across as cough syrup-like, but this is just sweet enough to kind of tone down that tartness. I don't get a bitter note from this at all. I really like it. So I hope I like it as much when it is warmed up. All right, so lastly here in the box, I have our little sample of the January scent of the month. And this is called Sun Ripened Berry. So that's kind of an interesting pick for January. I think they said this scent will be the scent of the month in all regions. So I think they were gonna try to go with something kind of universal for the different seasons. I love me a good berry scent. So let me see if I can get this open and we will give it a sniff. All right. Ooh, so I get, I do get very, I get a lot of citrus from this. This smells very juicy. So I think I kind of get like a juicy raspberry. It has that kind of juicy like raspberry pomegranate vibe. But I do pick up a little bit of kind of a bright burst of citrus. This kind of smells a little bit like fruit punch, but much more on the berry side. But it is bright and vibrant and fruity. It kind of reminds me of red pear and pomegranate. Not quite as crisp as that scent, but along the same lines. So I think if you like bright, fruity, sunny berry scents, you'll like this one. This is an interesting choice for a winter January scent, just because this to me smells like something I would really like to warm in the spring or in the, like in the early summer. But maybe in the bleak midwinter when I'm wanting something kind of bright and fresh, I will enjoy reaching for this but it does kind of give me those red pear and pomegranate vibes. So I'm excited to have that. Well, that was a wonderful whiff box. <laughs> um, this might be one of my very favorite whiff boxes just because I love the exclusive bar. I wish they would do this all the time. I think I would definitely buy a whiff box every time just to have the exclusive bar. But yeah, I like it. I'm excited to warm it. I hope I love it just as much when it is warmed. So let's go ahead and plug in these warmers and see what they look like lit up. All right, let's start with pine for plaid. So it is nice because this gives off a lot of light, but it's not blinding because the glass is frosted. And when it's lit up, you can really see those speckles a lot better. It looks like falling snow, really, really cute. Kind of a mix of falling snow and mercury glass. Really, really pretty. And then the light does illuminate the tree there. So it looks really pretty. And then let's look at it with the lights off. So this one is so bright. You can't really tell that I turned the lights off in the room, but really, really pretty. I am very, very happy that I picked this warmer up. All right, and here is Nature's Wonders. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. So I love that you can still appreciate that it is that beautiful kind of gold tone. The silhouette is coming across very dark on camera, but it's just this very kind of soft 
gold in person. And then the silhouette from inside the shade actually kind of looks like watercolor. It is so pretty. Oh, I think this is just stunning for the winter or I mean really any time of year, but I think for winter particularly, just the colors and the silhouette are stunning. So that is a beautiful warmer. You really have to see it in person to appreciate just how pretty it is. I'm gonna turn the lights off in the room. And again, it's so bright because that glass is just kind of frosted that it gives off a lot of its own light. It's not blinding because the glass is frosted, but you can see the light bulb through the dish there. So, oh my gosh, beautiful. All right, and then last but not least, here is Candy Christmas. So the light glows through the windows. This looks so cozy. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is so cute. So, yeah, you can see the bulb in there, but it just gives off this really nice kind of cozy glow. These little gingerbread people are so cute. And again, I think I am just going to love this warmer. I think this would be so cute in a gingerbread themed kitchen. Oh, I can't get over it. So, so cute. I would love to know what you have been enjoying from Scentsy lately. If you've been able to pick up any of these limited time offerings, um, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you again for your patience with me over the past month. Like I said, it's just been kind of a crazy month, but I'm trying to get caught up on comments and I appreciate all of you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.